Ooh. Now, here we are in a very special training center to meet some very hairy firefighters. Dogs, they will have to find people who are lost or buried under rubble. So let's meet those very fluffy firefighters. It's by practicing rescue techniques that firefighters are always ready to intervene. The marine firefighters are great. We're very lucky to have such professionals to rescue us. I hope you're ready, because you know what I know. Hiya! Hello, my little kitty kids, it's me, Kitty. K-I-D-I. -I. And today, we're with Romain. Hey, Romain. Hey, Kitty. Now, Romain is a firefighter from Marseille. And he's also a dog trainer. That's right. He trains dogs to go on the field. And today, we'll be spending our day with them. Let's go. Here we have Freya and Tilly. Firefighting dogs are selected when they are two or three months old. That's very young. And they are selected based on their sense of smell and if they are athletic enough. That's right, you need to be strong, even when you are a dog. And then they will be trained for two years. Woo, that's a long time. And the training takes the form of a game where someone will go hide in some rubble and then they will have to find that person. And when they do, when they succeed, they'll get a treat. Yay! Oddly enough, just like real firefighters, firefighting dogs really like climbing ladders. Yay! Now, this is a dexterity exercise that dogs must go through. Because sometimes, some of the victims you need to save as a dog are, you know, on the... Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh floor. So you need to be able to climb a ladder just like a firefighter. Whee! And you know what? This is pretty easy. Yay! I can't fool around too much because I might fall. I did it! Yes. Did you see that? That's so efficient. That's such a good girl. Dogs are man's best friend, no doubt about it. They're so cute and smart, but they're also keen searchers who often work alongside the police or lifeguards. Here are just a few of their missions. At sea, the Newfoundland, is the champion rescuer. It can swim for hours and pull very heavy loads thanks to its webbed paws. Well done! On land, the king rescuer is the German Shepherd. And although the Saint Bernard is often associated with the mountains, the German Shepherd has taken its place because it's faster and more agile. But all of them are good boys. Oh, yes you are. Well, I think we're back with the technical dog team of the Marine Firefighters of Marseille. And it's time for an exercise. So, the dog will go and try and find someone buried in the rubbles. And that person is going to be me! I'm going to go hide now. Whee!
I'm with a new friend. Hi, Pascal. Hi, Kiki. So, Pascal is a marine firefighter and dog trainer. And so this is the exercise. I'm going to be hiding in this tube. And when the dog finds me, I will have to give him this, a dog toy. Now, this is the ultimate prize. Not saving me, just finding this. But hey, whatever works. So, let's go. And now I'm locked in. I'm kidding. I'm stuck in a tube. I'm kidding. Waiting for a dog to save me. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do That was efficient! Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, you're a good girl. Okay, yeah, get your treat. Oh, yeah. oh yes, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Oh, look at the gorgeous eyes. Good girl. Thank you for saving me. Thank you. <laughs> When it comes to saving lives, we can count on our friend the dog and its sense of smell, but also on their loyalty and intelligence. Let me introduce you to some of our four-legged heroes. As we have seen, the German Shepherd is the dog used most for interventions on land and the Newfoundland at sea. But when it comes to sniffing out explosives or even drugs, the Beagle or the Bloodhound are the champions. For the police or the army, it's the Belgian Malinois, who is the star. Slightly smaller than the German Shepherd, it's often used in canine brigades around the world. Now, we can't do the exercise just once. No, we have to do it again and 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 again. So, I need to hide again. Hi, Pascal. Hi, Kiki. So, Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Oop. The dog toy. My lifeguard. Let's go. I'm too big. Is there like just a pink beanie popping up? <laughs> Good girl. Oh, yes, you're a good girl. Mm. She's a good girl. She's a fantastic girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So, these service dogs aren't just service dogs. They're also pets. So they will go home with their master and, you know, go on holiday with their masters. So it's all just a big family. So they go to their job, go back home, go on weekends and holidays. And it's really great. And the reason they are so efficient it's that for them, this is just a game. It's not life-threatening or anything, even in real circumstances. Isn't that right? 
Yeah, she's happy, a bit tired, but then again, she ran everywhere. Yeah, you're a good girl. And now, let's see what you remember of today's episode. It's time for the kitty quiz. So let's go. Whew, well, that was a busy day. But you know what? It's not quite over yet. That's right, it's now time for the kitty quiz. Three questions and one right answer each time. So are you ready? Great! So, first question. What does a dog use to find a missing person? Does it use A, its sense of smell, or B, a GPS? Timer! Time's up! So, what's your answer? That's right, a dog will use its sense of smell to find a missing person. Congratulations! Sense of smell. S E N S E space O F space S M E L L sense of spell. Yay! Second question. Which one of these dogs has webbed paws? Is it A, the Newfoundland, or B, the Chihuahua? Timer! Time's up! So, what's your answer? That's right! The Newfoundland has webbed paws. Congratulations! Newfoundland. N E W F O U N D L A N T. Newfoundland. Whew, what a mouthful. <laughs> okay, third question. Are you ready? Which one is best at finding a missing person? Is it A, a groundhog, or B, a dog. Timer! Time's up! So, what's your answer? That's right! The dog is best at finding a missing person! Congratulations! Dog. D. O. G. Dog! Well, you got all the right answers to the kitty quiz! You know what comes up next? That's right! The kitty dance! So I hope you're ready! Set. 
set, grow.